I am a system trader. I'm a hardcore believer in utilizing statistic-driven trading on market structure to make money over time. I don't love the idea of using technical analysis as a standalone tool to trade with, but doing a little bit of research, today I came across harmonic stock patterns. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been doing this for over eight years now. I've never heard of this. I've never seen these patterns before, but they look like very complex technical analysis, potentially utilizing statistics within technical analysis, which I would be all about. And I found an indicator on use think script that will plug this in to thinkorswim and show on your chart what harmonic pattern is currently occurring. So in today's video, we are going to apply this into our thinkorswim. I'll show you how to set it up and we're going to take a look at it. Hit the like button if you're excited and let's jump into it. One of my favorite parts of the Thinkorswim trading application is how easy it is to import custom codes. And if you've never seen this before, I might be about to change your trading journey forever. If we come back into this forum and I can get a copy of this code, I will uh, go ahead and copy it. Let's drag, drag, drag. Wow, this is a very long code. That is uh, getting me a little bit excited about what this is maybe about to output. So I went ahead and copied this. And I'm going to drag this back over. If I go into my studies, edit studies, you all have seen this before, but maybe you've never hit this button, create. And this is where you can create your own custom studies. All I'm going to do is paste in the free one that I just found on use think script. We're going to give it a name. I don't know. Let's call the name subscribe to the channel, please. I don't know. It's just a name. It's just something that came to me. Anyway, let's go ahead now. All I got to do is hit OK. Um, wow, this code is so long. I'm not going to lie. It feels like, and it is, it's making the application lag a little bit. So maybe something to keep in mind. I hit okay. It took like 10 seconds. We'll see what happens when I hit apply here. But when I hit apply, this is going to be a first for both of us. We're about to get our reaction to this code together because obviously I have never seen this before either. Holy crap. Look at all the different parameters. There's going to be a lot to play with in this video. Look at all the parameters of this code, but three, two, one, apply. Can't tell if it's lagging or if nothing happened. It's on. I see it. I see it on there. Oh, hey, there it is. It was just, it just is. It's such a long code. It does take it a second. But look at this. We've got bull symmetry, bull Elliott wave four, bear Elliott wave five, bear ABCD. Uh, spy is starting to spit out some bear things right now, although so far incorrect. A spy just broke 500. There's going to be a ton that we need to look at in this video as far as what are harmonic stock patterns and how is this code spinning them out. So let's get into that next. Just like whenever we do these use think script code reviews, the link to this code will be in the description of the video. I will not be putting this code on my website. Of course, I'm not going to turn around and sell some code that I didn't create, that I found. That would be extremely scummy. But if you are interested in custom thinkorswim codes, which Obviously you are, you're watching this video. You can access all of mine and I currently have over 40 custom thinkorswim codes, be it custom indicators, custom strategies, custom scanners, custom watch list columns. I currently have over 40 and I'm adding at least one a week. If I come down to my change log here, you can see everything that I've added and I'm actually kind of been going ham on the coding lately. So for just $25 a month, you get access to every code I've ever made and every code I ever will make. Once again, at least one a week, but of course, it's a membership. You don't have to stay subscribed. If you just like to spend 25 bucks to get access to the 40 codes I currently have, you can just sign up, download the codes and cancel your subscription. Of course, feel free to do that as well. Once again, daytradingstrategies.net, access all of my custom codes for a very low price. It's like 60 cents a code or something right now, which is bonkers. Go look at what other people are charging. I promise it's bonkers, but link at the top of the description, We'll see you over there. All right, so no hate to the uh, poster of this code, but they did not do a fantastic job of naming their plots. It's good code practice to name your plots what is actually showing so that we could, you know, what I would love to do is come in and read the names of the plot, be it your ABCD, your Henry, your 
Elliot Wave, some of these names I'm seeing, so that I knew what was being plotted, so I knew what to go study. But since we don't have that, let's just take a look and read some of what's here so that we can go figure out what the hell any of this means, right? So I see ABCD patterns. I see is Gilmore reversal. Never heard of that. I see Elliott waves. I know what Elliott waves are. Um, I see bull symmetry. I see um, Elliott wave WV4 equals ABC. That I have no idea what it means. I see a bear butterfly. I've never heard of that. Um, uh, bear one to one. I don't know what that means. Um, so there's a handful of stuff in here that uh, black swan, uh, not exactly sure what that means. There's a handful of stuff in here. Bat, what is, a, what is a bat? Bull bat, bull black. There's a bull black swan. That doesn't even sound like it would make it. Aren't black swans a bad thing? Let's go figure out what the hell these patterns are supposed to represent. Let's do a little bit of study. Shout out to the man, Ross Cameron. Love him or hate him. You know who he is. His company, Warrior Trading, he has a post on harmonic patterns and he has a handful of examples of ones that exist now i want to ensure on this video we don't get too damn deep into this because I, I could make this an hour and a half long research video on harmonic patterns and what every little detail means that's not what i want to focus on i want to get back and really focus on this indicator so i will link this page as well in the description down below and i have please no affiliation with warrior trading no affiliation with the use think script forum i just want to provide these links for you all to get some more information but let's read a little bit about this and then jump back over into the indicator what are harmonic patterns? Harmonic patterns are trend reversal patterns that are based on Fibonacci extensions, retracement levels, and geometric structures. These patterns provide traders with potential reversal zones, which help to hop in reversal trades at the brink of exhaustion. Cool. Let's go ahead and let's look at some examples. The butterfly is a reversal pattern often found at the end of a trend move. Um, is made up of five points, X, A, B, C, and D. Below is a below is a an example. AB can retrace up to 78.6% of the XA leg. BC can retrace between 38.2 and 86% of the AB leg. All right, so it's very much just like, like said in the larger description, Fibonacci sort of retracement trend analysis, which is fine. But uh, butterfly looks like a butterfly. Bearish butterfly, I've I've heard this called W and M patterns in technical analysis, looks sort of like this. Maybe the butterfly pattern is applying a little bit more statistics though, right? Using Fibonacci statistics to give real measurable value to technical analysis, which once again, I'm all I'm all about. So once again, W and M pattern basically, but with Fibonacci extensions. The Gartley pattern uh, preceded by a significant higher low. Okay, usually formed when the correction of an overall trend is taking place. The uh, bullish are M shaped while the bearish are W shaped. So it's the opposite of a butterfly. Wait, bull is M shaped. Ah, never mind. The butterfly is M shaped. The Gartley is M shaped. Uh, so once again, sort of looks like W and M patterns. But interestingly enough, I, I I feel like oftentimes. So let me put it this way: It sounds like harmonic patterns are all reversal patterns, which is interesting because a lot of times you hear. Um, in technical analysis, a W pattern is bullish, right? A lot of people want to buy this break of B for a bull break up, but it sounds like with this line of thinking, the W is actually an exhaustion pattern, right? Or the M is an exhaustion pattern of sellers. You know, sellers really fail to break down this initial buy. Buyers fail to break up this initial, it's a sell. So sort of an interesting using Fibonacci's to maybe flip a typical technical analysis on its head. Let's go over one more. Okay, let's go over two more because the crab sounds so interesting. I was just going to cover the bat, but um, is this also similar? You also have an M pattern that's actually bullish and you have a W pattern that's actually bearish. So, so far, all three have basically been W and M patterns. It looks like just with uh, slightly different Fibonacci retracement amounts, but they're, they're very similar. M patterns being bullish, W patterns being bearish. Um, and the crab doesn't look a lot different. Once again, there's an M pattern that is bullish. It looks like with the crab, it might break down a little bit more, um, but still ends up being bullish. So it, is any of this useful? 
It, that's going to be up to you to decide. That's not for me to tell you. My job on this video is just to go over an indicator, and we just needed to learn a little bit about what the hell a harmonic pattern is before we can go over the indicator. So now let's jump back into the indicator and let's see if any of this actually works. All right, we're back on the SPY daily chart, but I've zoomed way in just because I found a couple of examples of things we just talked about. There are two bear butterflies on the chart here, and you can see these are these W patterns that the bear butterfly is calling an exhaustive pattern. It has painted it here. You got a little down move. You got another sort of W pattern here. As it broke this high, it painted a bear butterfly. You got a little down move. That seems okay. Now, something we're going to need to figure out is when are these painted, right? Because a lot of custom indicators get themselves in trouble by not actually painting in real time. That's something I make a very good job of ensuring that my own codes do, right? My codes all are painting in real time. But often when you're looking at someone else's codes or any other codes, they will like go back and paint in the past. So if I dive into the one minute chart here, oh, it's going to take a second to load because of how, uh, how long this code is, but let's keep an eye on this one minute chart while we're going over some other stuff and let's hopefully see it paint something and let's see if it paints it in real time or if it goes back. Like if this starts to come down, if say, if this candle comes down to 500.6, by the way, spy over 500, woo. Um, will it go back up here to 500.8 and paint that it was bearish? You all know what I mean. So let's keep an eye on that while we're sort of going over some other stuff. Cause from a, from a glance, it looks very nice, right? You've got your, you got your bull, your bull Elliott wave kind of here at this low, whereas you had a bear butterfly and a bear ABCD up here at this high. Oh, look, you got a, uh, you got a head and shoulders here. Nice. You got your shoulder head shoulder. Wow. I wonder if it painted that in real time. Because that is, look at that shoulder, head, shoulder. Did it paint and then did it drop? Or did it drop and then did it paint? You all are going to need to take this code if you would like to use it and do some of this testing yourself, right? I don't want to sit here for hours and figure it out on this video, but you're going to need to do some of this testing yourself. Ensure that it's actually painting in real time. But it does look interesting. It, is this something I'm probably going to use in my trading? Honestly, it's probably not. I Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of technical analysis, and this seems to basically be technical analysis just with a combination of Fibonacci's. Now, there's a lot of traders out there that love technical analysis, and I think that's perfectly okay. I'm a huge proponent of do whatever the hell makes you money, right? I, I am certainly not. I'm a big system trader because I found that's what works for me. I tried discretionary trading. I tried technical analysis type trading. For six years, I was either a losing trader or a just above break-even trader, not really having any kind of consistency. It's been for the last two and a half years now since I've switched to system trading, I've actually seen my P&L going more up from left to right consistently. So I found, I found that system trading worked for me, but while I'm sitting here saying like, I don't like technical analysis, I don't want anyone out there that does technical analysis to go, what the hell's Trey talking about? Once again, if you make it work for you and it's what makes you money, please keep doing it, please. And if you like this indicator and you're looking at this and you can see, I mean, it does, once again, it does look fine as long as please, as long as it's painting in real time, the bull symmetry, nice bull Elliott wave. Nice. The bear ABCD on the one minute so far is painted at high of day. So this code, this strategy, or not strategy, sorry, this study may be very interesting. Once again, it's provided for free on use think script. So the worst case scenario that can happen is you have to download this code and then go delete it if you don't like it because it's free, right? So check the link in the description. Go check this code out. I think if you're into technical analysis, it's certainly at least worth checking out. Hey, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Over 68% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is crazy. Please make sure you're subbed. You're getting all this content for free. Make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. Hit the like button if you did enjoy. And remember, if you're into custom thinkorswim studies, strategies, any of this code, daytradingstrategies.net, link in the description. Those of you guys that made it to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you even a little bit of extra push. If you use discount code END, you're gonna get your first month for only $15. So now you can go download over 40 codes for only $15 and then you can cancel if that's what you would like to do or remain subscribed and continue getting my codes. But I don't even know what that price is, 40 codes for 15 bucks, something insane. 
discount code end daytradingstrategies.net. Go check it out in the link in the description down below. With all that being said, that's going to do it for this video, but I will link you all in the outro to a custom indicator that I made myself. If you'd like to see an example of that, check out that video next. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. <laughs>